Hey guys, so today I have a kind of impulse tattoo. I work one day a week in a tattooist and we've just got this amazing new tattoo artist and her name is Billy Ranger and I am obsessed with her flash. Like it's all dark and black and bold and black and dark and gothic and black and I freaking love it. And every time I go into work, she's got like new designs and I'm like, <gasps> just stop, I'm gonna run out of space. So I finally, booked in. I was scared to book in because I knew once I'd had one tattoo by her, I was gonna get loads. So today, I'm gonna get tattooed by her. Sorry for my shaky camera. I am much excited. So, I have a nice big gap here, which I hate. And I have double chin, which I don't mind. It gives me, it gives me a face character. But today, I am going to get some barbed wire tattooed all along here i'm not sure yet if i want it to come like on my face or not cheeky gotta buy my dinner first or if i want it to just sit purely on my jawline i have ptos which is a hormone imbalance thing my body hates me and it gives me quite a bit of a beard you hear the police there was a stabbing like just down the road last night welcome to britain and um yeah, I have, PC so I have PCOS and it gives me, I have high testosterone in my body, which is why I'm such a manimal. And I have a bit of a beard. I was having laser hair removal, but it stopped because of Corona and lockdowns. And because I wasn't keeping up with it every, however long I needed it, my hair has grown back. I have thoroughly shaved my, my Tom Selleck face. Hoping that the tattoo will just help hide it a little bit better. But at the same time, I have always wanted my jawline tattoo. So it's like two birds, one stone. I haven't numbed it, which I am suddenly very much regretting. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna cry. So now I'm going to get the bus from, oh, I'm get out, from Ipswich to Wickham Market. It's really cold and my wig feels like it's about to blow off. It's like an hour bus journey as well, but you know how much I love public transport. Not even taking the piss, I actually love it. So follow me, hope you enjoy my journey, hope you enjoy the bus with me, and I'll show you all around this place that I work, and you can laugh while I cry my eyes out and get my jawline tattooed. I just ran into a subscriber. I feel like such a, such a celeb. Do come say hello, I am actually very nice. I may look like a bitch, and I am one, but Come say hi, boost my ego. <laughs> it's just not raining. This is the wrong kind of wet I like to be. I don't have an umbrella either. <laughs> Soggy boo. <laughs> I just got so nervous and panicky that I'm about to get my jawline tattooed that I got off the bus at the wrong stop. Like the panic just set in. So now I'm like not too far from the studio, but I could be a lot closer. So if I turn my camera, I need to get to that church. Luckily I got comfy shoes on today. Oh my god, I, I just had a sudden, like, I was just sitting on the bus, sitting at the front, thinking I'm driving the bus, being really cool, listening to corn, and then all of a sudden, Coming Undone came on, and I was like, Coming Undone, I'm Coming Undone! I'm gonna get my face tattooed in a minute! And, oh my god, yeah, panic. But it's a little bit of exercise for me. Um, I do get to pass the co-op now, so I am gonna run in and grab a drink. I forgot to get some sugar, and that's your number one thing. When you get tattooed, take some sugar. So I'm gonna put corn back on and pop to co-op and then I'll be at the studio. Co-op just ripped me off. Said two drinks for two pound fifty. I go buy two, two drinks, get to the till, three pound ninety-eight. 
I did have £3.98 on the card. I'm at the studio now. I'm going to cross the road and show you it. If I don't get blown away in this gust of wind. Okay, here we are. We're in Wicker Market. Here is the little studio. Look, it's so tiny. I'm almost as tall as the front of the shop, and I'm only 4 for 11. The shop is tiny! It's like Alice's vagina in Wonderland. It looks so small, but it goes really, really deep. Almost just got run over by a car for vlogging for you, but you're welcome, it's fine. So, look, look, that's the top of the sign, and that's my head. Shop's tiny. Burning tires in a stolen car. I fucked up so bad outside the bar. Heading out as far away I can. Heart is pounding, got some damn out of hand. Doing nighting through the city night. Nothing's ever gonna be. Alright, I'm done. I've had to come outside and get some fresh air because I was so lightheaded. All my makeup's come off, I've got black ink. I am still really lightheaded. I feel like I'm drunk and I'm trying to walk about and get some fresh air. I feel like my face is really swollen and I'm in the Imagine Dragons radioactive video. I just want to go like, I'm breathing in the chemicals. <gasps> That's how I'm going to take deep breaths from now on. <gasps> I love that you can just see it there. I feel so badass. <laughs> my neck is killing me. It's so hurt, so painful. My neck hurts so much more than this. But I'm going to say goodbye now. Because I'm going to go and um, put my head between my legs for a little bit. Hopefully uh, my arse don't smell and just try and get the blood back to my head because I feel so lightheaded. Like I feel like I'm gonna faint. <laughs> Not really, but I do. Okay, I'm gonna go. I will talk to you guys in about a week. I don't know, a few days when I'm feeling a little bit better and I'll show you it all properly and yeah. Hey guys, welcome back. It's been about two weeks since I had my jawline tattooed. I am half asleep right now. I woke up a little bit late um, and I've really quickly got a 
film this and then get ready and go off and meet my friend. I'm going to rush. I'm going to rush. And I need to do things exactly when I need to do it or I won't do it. I'm a procrastinator. So, how you doing? I am sweating like a motherfucker today. I've got my little fan. I'm going to put it under my top while I film this because I'm just so sweaty. So I'm sorry if you can hear that. It does interrupt on my microphone. But unless you want me sweating in like Ben Stiller in a long cane poly, I need a fan on. Plus, who don't love a little bit of fanny? So it's been about two weeks since I got my jawline, under chin, not quite jawline, under chin, double chin, jaw, I don't know, tattooed, this tattooed, and I'm in love with it. I am so in love. I think it might be my new favourite tattoo. So I got it done by the wonderful junior artist, Billy Ranger. She has just started working at the tattoo studio that I work in on Saturdays, and she's fantastic. All her designs are like bold black alternative lots of spiders chains barbed wire I'm just obsessed with her aesthetic so when I've got my face straight on like this you can just I don't know if you can because my eye got really bad eyes so I could be just be talking whale poo right now you can just see these little like lines here and it's really really subtle but that's what it looks like when I've got my face to the side you can see it more and it really breaks up my jawline from my face and my neck it's not just a a glob anymore which i was very self-conscious about it's very 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 self-conscious but now i'm like nah bitch f going to the gym and loosen some weight f going to the plastic surgeon i'm just going to work and tattoo a face shit mate i think it worked <laughs> So I have had zero swelling from this. I, well, no, that's a lie. I think I swelled up the first day, like as soon as it was done, but only slightly. This is just all my glorious chub. I am not swollen at all. This has literally been the easiest tattoo I have ever healed in my life. I have had zero problems with it. I keep forgetting it's there. When I go to sleep, I like to pull my blanket up up here and pretend that I'm like a slug or something. And I keep doing that at night. And then for the first few days, it was like, oh, I'm prickly. But after that, nothing, no problems. The only, no problems at all, but the only thing I have kind of struggled with is because of my PCOS and I shaved my face. Even waxing it before, which I didn't do, but I could have done, it still grows back the same, the same time. My hair just grows. You've seen how long my real hair is and it's, it's been a year and a half and it's already like down here. My hair grows so freaking fast, which is fantastic when I shave my head. But now so fantastic when I'm trying not to look like Bob Ross. So I've kind of avoided going out for this two weeks so just because I didn't want to show everybody my bush. Not this one at least. This happy little bush. Well we're really Bob Ross in it today. What I have done over the tattoo is sit and pluck the hairs out and it's not as bad as I'm making it sound and it's actually very very therapeutic to sit and watch films with my partner and just sit there with tweezers going like this. I do it like almost every day. It, it's my thing. It, it's my thing that when Ben and I get divorced he's gonna say in, in divorce court. I mean mate, judge, she sits there plucking her beard every day. Who would put up with that? I mean, you've put up with it for 10 years, you've got the rest of your life to go, so get used to it, mate. So that's just what I do. I like to, that's my, that's my weird thing that I do. What's yours? Tell me right now. Tell me in the comments. What's your secret weird thing that you do that no one knows about or that just your partner knows about or just your parents? Tell me. Mine is a sit and a tweeze on my beard hair. I used to tweeze on my leg hair. That used to, but, but when you do that, you have to look. But when I do my beard, I don't, I, I don't have to look. I can watch telly and just... And it's just so therapeutic and I don't know why. Anyway, I've been doing that over my tattoo and that has just that's given me that little bit, little boost of confidence that I haven't got full chin strap. I'm such a weirdo, I love it. So let's talk about the tattoo. The tattoo itself, you're, you're, you're not going to believe me and I swear on my daughter's life and as much as she annoys me, I do not want her dead. It didn't hurt. Like it really didn't hurt. This bit here on my actual chin was I would say the pinchiest of it all but all this barely felt it love. Did you feel it? Barely. Was like having sex with my ex all over again. Didn't feel a thing. The only thing that hurt like majorly killed 
was the back of my neck because I had to have my head like this or hanging over the table. It was very, very uncomfortable position to be in, laying flat with a head over a table. Like, sometimes that's a fun position, but not for an hour, two hours while you're getting tattooed. So, so the worst thing about this experience literally was my neck hurting. The tattoo itself, dreams come true. It was a breeze, it was a breeze, it was a sea breeze love because my head was also like over the back of a the back what if i sound like my front face over the back of a table i don't know how liverpool is say table but i know they go back i used to watch broke sad i know right so my head went over the back of a table um like this whole time and i was so lightheaded maybe that's why it didn't hurt because there was no blood in my brain but there isn't anyway i was so lightheaded like i had to take a couple of breaks to um, just sit down with my head between my legs to just get fresh air even filming at the end i thought i was all right because i had i had sat down with my head and got the blood back and then i stepped outside to get some fresh air and i start to feel lightheaded again so after i filmed the end bit on, on the day i had to go back and sit down and get more more blood in me yet i don't get lightheaded very often but that like, lasted quite a while i think it was because my back my head was back so long um, that it just, yeah, that that was the worst bit. The worst bit was having my neck, having the back of my neck hurt and being lightheaded. Why can't all tattoos be that bad though? Because I, I didn't feel this. <laughs> I was so scared that I hadn't numbed it and I would have numbed it. I just didn't, that's an awkward place to numb because you have to keep it covered. And a burka isn't for me. I was because I would have had to put the numbing cream on and then tape it or cling film it really tight and like like I was in a horror movie and I just I wasn't about that so I took a risk and honestly I rarely say this it paid off because it, it paid off because it didn't hurt I originally I've been thinking about getting my jawline tattooed for literally years and I've been really scared to do it because it's one of those ones that when you when you get older and your neck starts to sag it it made me nervous that it would drop and it just wouldn't look as cute but i am obsessed with plastic surgery and i'm just like hmm fuck it i'll just get surgery i'll just get that and i'll and it'll be good and it'll be good as new good as new i'm gonna look like joan collins when i'm older so i originally wanted to get lyrics tattooed on my jawline this is, i don't think i've ever said this in a video uh this was actually my plan for the last few years i wanted to get the paloma faith i love old paloma faith i haven't really listened to her new stuff but i love her old stuff so much and i really wanted to get just close your eyes and make believe around my jawline the only thing that put me off that was well wait was my, my jowls but it was also I keep seeing people with with writing there and I just don't and it unless it's done exactly on your jaw because I've seen a couple of people like Chris motion my boy Chris his is perfect because it goes round and then it goes up just behind his ears and like just under his ears that is exactly what I wanted I am um, I had drawn a line on like a thick line of where the font would be many years ago and drawn it right up under my ears and it just didn't suit me i think i need that little gap there to just help shape my face a little bit more and then i just kind of forgot that i wanted the lyrics because it kind of didn't work out and then chatting to billy looking at her flash she had done some barb wire here like she'd done one barb and one barb here on someone else that person only had two barbs they weren't joined it was a bit random but i kind of loved it at the same time and then she'd drawn up some barb wire and then i was like oh my god i need that on my chin i just need it i need it and then the following week i got it done the joys of being an impulsive person not caring what tattoos you get and working in a tattooist those three things do not go together that's pretty much it i i almost wish it had hurt more because it would put me off because now i'm looking at guys on instagram that have the tattoos here they've got like writing here and i'm like oh i can do that <laughs> if it had hurt it would put me off so much more like my neck i think was one of the worst tattoos i've ever had <laughs> and now all i've got is this gap in the front of my neck but that's what put me off getting my neck tattooed because it was so bad the first time the first one i had done whichever side 
was so bad and I wish so much that this had hurt because now I want more. I say this after every tattoo I get, especially face tattoos. I feel so badass, but I just, I am obsessed with how it just shapes my face. That's the, that's literally what I wanted. You may disagree, but I, I think it works really well. That's it. I am so tired and it's, oh, 9am. So I'm going to have to go because I have to go. So I have to go and see my friend. No, I'm happy about that. I'm really excited, but I have to go. So uh, before I go, I'm going to do a huge, huge shout out to Rebecca, one of my newest patrons. You are amazing. Love you, Rebecca. I love it, Rebecca. On that note, please do check out my Patreon. It's an awesome little community. We have fortnightly live videos. And then the week that we don't have a live video, we have video Zoom calls so we can all video chat together. You get exclusive updates and pictures and videos and things that don't go anywhere else. Much love, boobs. Take care of yourself. And most of all, stay weird.